What's up guys, Josh Schneider. Justin Russell here with Russell Marine Products. Actually got a calm day today out on the water. Yeah. Holy wow. cow, we're gonna show you how windy it gets here. It moved a whole way break, basically in front of the marina takeoff go. So we yeah. have like 20 feet to idle between it and the bank to actually get out of here. We'll show you that in a second. But uh, wanted to bring you guys a new video. We've been wanting to do this for a while and we just haven't really done it. Yeah, I mean, we've done it on separate boats, right? It's like, okay, doing this, checking that. It's a comparison. It's a comparison that's, you know, side to side, while out, but it's the GT54 versus the GT56, the UHD transducers from Garmin. Yeah. Uh, we, you know, we wanted to run them out here on the same unit. We ran them both on our 8612, um, right down the same path, same speed, same settings, and just see what uh, the big difference was side by side. I mean, it was basically what we thought, right? Yeah, you yeah. You know, like yeah. nothing really that surprising here, if you will. I mean, you guys check it out for yourself, but I don't think you guys are going to be surprised either with it. So. No, I think the big difference, you know, when you see the early stuff, you're not going to see a whole lot or anything that's surprising. Um, hang around till the end, um, because what was really showing to us is what we saw right kind of the very last thing we yeah, crossed over. Absolutely. So that, that'll so. be the one to look for. Yeah. So we're going to get back in the studio here and do our side by side and check it out. See Thank what you, you guys think. All right, guys, so we're back here in the studio, just got off the water filming our GT54 versus GT56. Again, all mm -hmm. auto settings here. Not really a lot of surprising surprises, I would say. Like, it's no. what we already thought and what we knew. Um, some of the science behind this, I want to just dive into a little engineering here. We've learned from the past, as a general rule of thumb, anytime a transducer is longer, generally mm -hmm. your images will be enhanced or better or more crisp on side imaging and down imaging. And the GT56 is significantly longer than the GT54. Yeah. And I think some of that translate over here. So we're gonna play some footage side by side and just kind of communicate what we're talking about. Some things will appear a little bit better on the 54 where some will appear a little bit better on the GT56. And we'll explain why on some of that in a moment. So. There are two areas, I believe, or possibly three that we were in. Three, three. areas. Yeah, so we covered three. We went by the marina and, mm -hmm. and saw some stuff that we've been seeing traditionally in the past. So there's some anchors. There's some um, cables that we see coming on this. Then we went past the, the brush pile that we've yep. done on some other filming. And then we went past the spillway as well. Yep. So Yeah, it's familiar targets from, from our channel. Um, so you guys have good points of reference. Um, the other thing to call out, you know, the frequencies are different on the 56. They elongated that transducer, like Justin's talking about, so changed that crystal orientation a bit. Um, but they actually lowered the frequency back down a bit, um, you know, 50 um, kilohertz. So um, we get to kind of see what that does as far as the increased range. And uh, not too much of a spoiler alert, but uh, the spillway part will really show that range. Well, <laughs> and, and to keep in mind, too, some of the science behind this, generally speaking, the lower the frequency, the farther you're going to be able to see out, but it's generally less detailed. The higher the frequency, the shorter the range out you're going to be able to view, but you're normally going to have a much more crisp image and you're going to see a lot more detail with that. And I think that's why they did some of what they did with the GT56. As we play this here, we'll explain more so it makes more sense as we're going through this, but it explains why. All right, here we go. All right, so we're starting idling here on a marina section, and you can see on your right-hand side of the screen, that little wave and, and stuff, that's a underwater trush for the dock system. So, mm -hmm. you know, we're not seeing it go out as far to the right-hand side on the 54, where on the 56, it's a little bit more clear defined. Yeah. And yeah, you can tell right. we're in a little bit harder of a bottom. The one thing I will notice on the left-hand side of the GT56, it is bright. Yeah. So it's it's definitely a hard bottom. It's a rock shore, but it it's so bright, it's almost hard to pick up some of the individual rocks where we kind of see them a little bit better on the GT54. Yeah, it's a give and take. I mean, you know, having the hard bottom that's really um, pronounced there um, for sure is a big difference, uh, but you can see a little clearer separation, I think, at this depth, you know. We're seeing cables better for sure. Mm -hmm. I will point out too, on the GT56, it looks like there's a lot of clutter and a lot of air bubbles. That is, that's actually our uh, prop wash that mm -hmm. we're idling back through from when we did the filming with the 54. Um, but again, good images on both, for sure. 
The main thing I want to point out is we're seeing that farther range out a little bit more defined on the 56 where we weren't on the 54, especially with looking underneath the dock system in that marina and seeing those underwater trushes go further out. We're seeing the cables come out further than what yeah. we did or farther than what we did on the GT54. Yeah. Let's check out the brush pile. All right. So, yeah, as we're coming up on it here, um, similar, so the bottom's returning harder on the 56, that brighter kind of feedback we're getting here. Um, for a point of reference, this is black emerald. This is the color we're yeah. in. Uh, my favorite color, I know Justin digs it too. Um, we, we like it. There's a lot of, it's easier to see the depressions and the elevation changes on basically like a creek channel coming around that brush pile where we didn't necessarily see that as easily on the 54. Yeah, um, the brush pile itself, um, also a bit more defined as far as the actual pieces that make it up on the 56. We also saw some anchors a little bit further out that were better defined and more clear than what we saw on the GT54 too. Let's take a look at the spillway. So this is an old lake spillway that's coming in here and seeing the edges of it way more defined on that GT56. Yeah. Um, way, way better on the definition of that for sure. Again, it's those elevation changes you were talking about um, where it really creates that, that those hard lines for us to be able to clearly define And we're spillway. seeing it on old the GT54, spillway. don't get me wrong, but it's yeah. easier to pick up the harder bottom. It's easier to see where the depression is. We're finding the hard edges a lot more than yeah. what we were with the GT54. 54 is still solid. Um, you know, currently while we're doing this, you know, we're seeing a lot of specials. We're selling like the 93s or 54s yeah. on closeouts. Very serviceable, but man, that 56. You can really see the definition. Now is the spillway great. So yes. the big, the deep yes. spillway that you've seen on um, live imaging and things like that. Um, this is, uh, let's just check it out here. All right. Um, while we're cruising up to it, you can start seeing it come on the screen now. The auto correct feature again, auto settings. So you it's know, readjusting, yeah, constantly readjusting constantly for the depth that we're in. But the great system stands out so much more crystal better. Yeah. And in fact, it looks what we've seen a lot more on live imaging where on the GT54, we see a great system, but what you don't see is the cement next to it on really where it intakes the water. Where on the GT56, way more crisp, way more defined. We're yeah. seeing some more rocks even out on the right hand side and 55 or 30 feet of water here where it comes up to the ridge where I think in the deepest part of it, it was like right around 50 feet. So it is. we're coming up, that, yeah, yeah, we're coming up to that and it's way more defined on the GT56 than it is on the GT54 for sure. The, the hard 90 degree corners that are yes. clearly defined, you know, on the 54 where, I mean, you can see obviously that there's a corner there and a pocket but it's it's not nearly as clearly defined as it is on the 56. I mean, that's just amazing, crisp, hard lines as you see it working across there. You can tell there's a grade on the 54, absolutely no question, but on the 56, you can really pick it apart. So yeah. Big difference. Yeah, that, that wraps up that portion of it. Guys, I mean, from what we know from science in the past, no surprises here. Nope. No, we, we've known that the GT56 was absolutely going to be better from what some of the stuff that we've dealt with in the past. Mm -hmm. um, the frequencies being different is definitely also added to that on, I believe it, it's um, 470 on the GT54 or 1120. I can't remember what the smaller or lesser frequency is on the GT56 off the top of my head versus 1,070. So mm -hmm. definitely a difference, but they've done that to optimize the best all around imaging for them that they see with that. And again, auto settings on this stuff, guys, you can dial some stuff in. We're probably a little far out on range than what we really like to be. The general rule of thumb is you wanna be about three times as far out as you are deep. And we're a little long on both these images, mm -hmm. but it's an, it's an equal comparison. Yeah, for sure. And the other thing too, between the 56 and the 54, beyond the frequency change. So although the frequency was lowered, which again, greater distance, we're seeing greater definition with the lower frequency. It's the power output too. Sure. Um, the, the amount of hertz that they're kicking out on the 56 is substantially higher than it was on the 54. Should have wrote down the exact numbers, but I believe it's close to double yeah. um, the power, the actual power output. So not the, the frequency of the pings when we're talking about that 1170 versus the 1120 or the 1070 versus 1120 rather. It's the power of those pings at that frequency. 
and the the power that ping that's going out off the 56 is substantially higher than it is on the 54. Again, we're seeing it in that really great feedback even at depth. And we filmed this on an 8612 unit. So, I mean, it's it's basically the best unit for screen mm -hmm. resolution and everything. So we're trying to optimize everything to be identical for it. The big question that we see going on right now, so we've had several of the 93s on closeout with GT54. Um, Bass Pro and Cabela's have had 106s with GT54. Mm -hmm. You know, is it worthwhile to upgrade to the GT56? I'm going to say for a guy that spends a lot of time side imaging, absolutely. Yeah. Um, it's substantial difference between those two transducers yeah. without a doubt. Yeah, no, it's a clear difference. Um, and and we've seen guys running GT54s as spares or selling them and upgrading to the GT56 to kind of offset some of that cost. And some of these units are, you know, substantially discounted with a GT54 mm -hmm. right now. You're still money ahead to buy that unit with the GT54 and purchase separately that GT56 and upgrade to that than you are buying the full bundle right now with the GT56 included. And I think it's worth it. Yeah, I mean, absolutely sure. I mean, worth it. I mean, usually, that's a night and day difference. Usually the tagline, like, you know, you guys be the judge. I mean, this is pretty clear. Yeah, yeah, it's, <laughs> like, it's, 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 it's pretty it's, obvious. It's pretty obvious here. So it's something that, yeah, we both agree. It's absolutely make, worth making that upgrade. Um, for the GT56, and yeah, the, the images speak for themselves. Well, and case in point, on this very last image here I want to discuss, the very top part of the screen on the GT54, you cannot see individual rocks on mm -hmm. the right-hand side of our screenshot, where on the GT56, we we're picking up individual rocks. A lot of times, especially in the lakes that we deal with in Kansas, that is all it takes to have a difference on whether or not fish are going to be holding on that. And if I can't even see big boulders on here, I'm not going to be seeing fish on here. On the GT56, if I'm pulling up boulders like that, I'm absolutely going to be able to see fish as well, and that's going to make a huge, huge difference for me on covering an area of water and having confidence that I'm seeing what's beneath the water here. I mean, that's just case in point. If you look at the distance, the rocks are pulling up, that, that rule of threes at or just past. So. Correct. It's, it's reaching out there, guys. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So be sure to like, share, and subscribe, guys. Got more videos headed your way soon. Leave some comments for us. Anything you'd like to see, uh, comparatively speaking, or going over sonar settings, side imaging stuff, live imaging. Glad to be able to help you guys out. Always appreciate your guys' feedback. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye.